Summer research programs for high school students are gaining so much of popularity these days and it kind of makes sense. I mean, high achieving students want to get this exposure early on in their career. If we've learned anything in the last few years, it's that colleges want to see how you can stand out as a student. And these summer research programs help you do exactly that. They help you take your resume and portfolio to the next level, showcase aptitude, the fact that you can excel academically and outside of your school. Everything that a top US university wants to see. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the most prestigious summer programs that are available in the US. Now, these programs anyone can apply to, whether you are a student studying in the US in a US high school or in any other, other country in the world like India, Bangladesh, Canada, Europe, doesn't matter. As long as you are a high school student, you will be able to apply for these programs. Now, you may have heard of some of them because they're so popular and others maybe not. So let's dive into the list. We are starting off with a pretty well-known program. This is the Research Science Institute by arguably the number one university in the world, MIT. Now, this program is open to all high school students and it is extremely competitive. It is a STEM-based research program. So you'll be working on cutting edge research around AI, physics, biology, anything that you can think of. Now, this is program is so prestigious that it has an acceptance rate of just 5%. Now, 5%, guys, is the like acceptance rate that Ivy League colleges have. So basically, getting into this program is almost the equivalent of getting into a top 10, top 20 US college. So with this competition, obviously, you need to stand out and make sure that you have something in your resume beforehand. Some of the students that I know who got accepted into RSI were past winners of science exhibitions and fairs and whatnot. So they already had a pretty impactful resume before they even applied. So this 5% roughly translates to about 80 students that get accepted and attend RSI each year by MIT. The best part about this program is that it's completely free and you do not have to pay a single dime. In fact, in return, MIT actually gives you a stipend to attend this program. So they pay for your food, living expenses, housing, whatever you need to make sure that you're comfortable and you have everything you need to excel in this program. So all you have to be is a great, brilliant student. Number two on our list is YYGS, another well-known program which is offered by Yale. Yale's Young Global Scholar Program. Now, this is an interdisciplinary program, so it focuses on issues like political science, humanities, social issues across the world. And this is actually a group program that happens once a year. So you'll probably be in maybe like a cohort of 10 or 20 students, and it is a great and fulfilling experience. Unlike MIT, the acceptance rate is slightly better. So we're looking at around 10 to 20% of students that are accepted. Again, still pretty competitive and that translates to roughly 500 students. Now, I personally know that there are so many students that are international that get accepted and come to the US to attend this program in person. So fantastic opportunity. Only downside is they do offer limited scholarships and the tuition fee for the program is quite high at $6,500. Number three on our list is Rockefeller's SSRP, which is Rockefeller University in New York City. So already a favorite one and it is the Summer Science Research Program. Now, because it's in New York City, I like I've always said, it's a great place to be as a student. You get to see the hustling life, you have so many networking opportunities, and you can genuinely get so much out just by living in New York City in general. Now, this particular program focuses on biomedical research, so it's already my favorite. And as a biomedical engineer myself, if you are someone who's trying to study in this field or trying to go to college in biomedical engineering or science, it's really important that you get some amount of exposure in high school. Programs such as this one are the perfect ones to do that. The acceptance rate for this program is roughly 5%, so very competitive, but it is a completely free program and they do offer a $1,000 stipend in return for the duration of this program. So a great opportunity for anyone who's interested in biomedical science or engineering. Number four on our list is a pretty controversial one. It is Harvard's pre-college program. So this program um, offers a wide range of courses by Harvard in the field of STEM, humanities, social sciences, basically anything you can think of and want to study to students over the age of 16. Now the controversial part is that while it's a great program to study and learn from professors of Ivy League stature, 
the program is slightly expensive and in return, they do not give you college qualifying credits. Now, what this basically means is while you can study those classes and take those courses that Harvard offers, in return, you will not get a transcript that says that you completed these number of credits for this course. So it doesn't really benefit you in the long run in terms of providing value for kind of like the money that you're trying to spend. Nevertheless, I do see the benefit you know, that you can say that you get to study in Harvard, you get that exposure, you get to st study under and be mentored by some great professors, excellent chance to build your network. All of these things are the pros of the program if the affordability is kept aside. Just remember, this is a pre-college program, not a research program, which means that you will likely be in a classroom with a professor rather than spending one-on-one -on -one time being mentored for some research project that you're working on. Now, of the four programs we've come across so far, all of them are prestigious and something that you may have realized is you probably need to have something on your resume to apply to that program to stand out. Now, if students go in blind and they basically treat this as their first program, it is likely that you're probably not going to get in given that they're just at a 5 to 10% acceptance rate. So some great ways to build your profile are three particular programs that I have in mind for you, which is the Research Bootcamp, the International STEM Research Program, and the Profile Building Mentorship. All three programs are offered by Incognito Blueprints and they are various tiers of research-based programs depending on affordability. The Research Bootcamp is a once-a-year summer bootcamp, a group-based program which any student anywhere in the world can do virtually. The ISRP or the Profile Building Mentorship on the other hand is a one-on-one -on -one program which can be done under the guidance of a mentor that leads towards a publication. Now all of these are perfect if you want to build your resume and your profile for more prestigious programs or just in general build your extracurricular activities list. The next one is CSSEC Summer Internship by Stanford University. Now it's a pretty unique program which stands for Cardiothoracic Surgical Skills and Education Center by Stanford University. As you can tell from the name, it's perfect for students who are aiming for a medical degree or a pre-med undergrad degree. It provides you basic training on biology and human anatomy and the fundamental skills to make you ready for that medical journey that you're about to embark on. The program does have a $95 application fee, so one of the first ones that we've come across with such a huge application fee, and the cost to attend the program is $4,500. Now I know that these five programs are extremely competitive and extremely difficult to get into. The thing is, because you're in the US, a lot of programs are limited to US residents or US citizens, which means that you either need to be a US citizen or at least be living in the US to attend these programs. So for those of you that may fall in this category, I do want to mention some programs that may be beneficial for you. We have the Simon Summer Research Program by Stony Brook University, the Clarks Scholar Program by Texas Tech, and an extremely prestigious biomedical based program by the NIH, which is called the HSSIP NIH which is the major government funding body in the whole of the United States. Now, if you do think about it, yes, US citizens or residents do have a slightly better edge when it comes to these kind of programs compared to international students, but that doesn't mean that international students have an excuse or can get left behind. I know so many students that I've come across that have personally been mentored under me, that have gotten into prestigious universities like Cornell, Stanford, MIT, Harvard, you name it. So nothing's impossible. If you need to start somewhere, again, highly suggest that you check out Research Bootcamp, ISRP, or the Profile Building Mentorship by Incognito Blueprints to at least get a starting step in your profile building portfolio. Now, since we're on the topic of activities, and we're right around the corner, summer is here. I wanna know from those few of you watching till this point, what's your favorite summer activity when the weather is perfect, it's sunny outside, and you've just come home from school? When I was your age or that age, my favorite activity was to go out and play tennis or soccer or um, cricket. So these are the three things that I enjoyed playing. Just go out and play with like all of the colony friends. Um, and spend like two or three hours and come back all drenched, tired, and dirty. So what is yours? Put that in the comments below. Like this video. If we can get it to like 500 likes, maybe we'll make another one where I talk to you about some more 
prestigious activities and programs that you can do to build your profile. Now you may have noticed that I didn't give you deadlines for any of these programs and that's because they are reoccurring. They happen each year. So depending on whenever you're watching this video, you can just see when the next upcoming deadline is. The link to all of the programs is going to be in the description below. That's all for today. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.